All right, we're going to give you our one to three month view on the stock market, but don't go away. This uh, special we've been running, 50% off, ends on Tuesday. Stock Index Report live stream where we give you short-term uh, live charts on the S&P 500, NASDAQ, and the Russell with our uh, great reversal scout and acceleration zones and support and resistance. You'll really be able to improve your short-term trading. Stock Index Report, SIR, uh, Enhanced Snapshot on the indexes. That's a, a report that comes out after the close every day with great information in it. Our live chart streams, multi-time frame analysis with our proprietary studies on the S&P 500 only. Uh, we put that in level two because there's so many index traders in there. And there's 10 other uh, charts that you can see if you become a level three or four member. Stock index, stock uh, uh, ETF uh, weekly. Uh, review our um, simulator momentum tracker with over a thousand different uh, symbols in there and you'll be able to see for longer term holdings the important conditions. The Ask Them video library, over 600 videos for you to learn so much in nine different categories of the market and our new workbench with a great focus list worksheet that will let you see our 84 top uh, traded uh, stocks, ETFs and futures. Uh, and see our uh, charts in a static version with all of our analysis on there. All of that, an amazing $29.50 for the first month. Uh, and uh, you will be able to cancel at any time. You don't have to uh, pay anything more after that. If you don't want to stay on, just go to AskSlim.com, top of the main page. You'll be able to click that 50% off little green box, and you'll uh, be able to pay $29.50 for a month. Any questions on that? Any problem with that link signing up or anything? Write Matt at AskSlim.com. Here is the stock market one to three month view. We're going to look at the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ on the weekly charts, and we're going to take a look at some proprietary indicators that I think you will find extremely interesting. So let's uh, switch over as we take a look at the charts. Now, I still have Bitcoin up there from the previous segment we were doing, but I'm going to switch to SPX and blow up this weekly chart for you to see. So here is SPX on the weekly chart. And there's such interesting information on here. I think you're going to find it fascinating. I just blew this out a little bit so that you can uh, get an idea of these last uh, two, three harmonic families in there. These are the harmonic families on the bottom. It's actually made up of a dominant cycle that you see right over here and three minor cycles. If you look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven straight minor cycles that's in there. Each of those had higher peaks and higher bottoms. That's what makes up an uptrend. This is your 34 week moving average, which was continually moving up as you can see. And in the corrective period, you get a little bit of weakness and ro rolling over in the reversal scout. And here you could see that rolling over right now. And what has happened was after all of these upward uh, cycles. All of these are what we call in positive configuration and right hand translation because each of those didn't peak until late in the minor cycle. You can see that. Here's your peak here. Here's your peak here. Here's your peak here. All of those late or on the right side of the cycles. Now you have a breakdown in this cycle and for the first time you have a downward movement in one of these cycles. That is that is the first negative thing that we're looking at. Now, the next negative thing that we're looking at is, let me just get a little bit uh, further look out here, and that is uh, we have broken um, this low of this minor cycle. And what that suggests is that there is a decl further decline coming in here for some period of a couple of weeks. And then maybe a rebound in this minor cycle and then another period of big risk out over here. We have been talking about that mid-January through March was big downside risk, period of risk. And here it is. 
as this reset is going on, this massive liquidation that really points to this continuing out into March and maybe even into April if this extends out. So we'll look for a couple of weeks to the downside, some kind of a rebound. Once we have the anchor point, we'll put in the resistances in here and then moving down. We talked about this 4495 number for weeks, saying that when that breaks, it suggests a major top. And that's really what's going on here. If we get below that level, 42.79, that break confirms the major top and confirms that we're in a bear market that very well may last through the first three quarters of this year. Uh, we have a low due here in March and then another one due out in July. So we could get this big stair step moving to the downside. We have warned that this was coming and here it is right now. The next couple of weeks look really risky and then a rebound. When I look at the uh, NASDAQ NDX, you can see in here, let me uh, blow this out a little bit, a very, very similar situation um, as uh, the minor cycle right in here. I don't have the, the line drawn, but it's right here. It broke down three weeks ago, or five weeks ago, and now has continued down. This has another couple of weeks to go. If it breaks below that cycle support, 14,385, it will signal a major top and a bear market that we're in. Well, right now, 14% pullback is a pretty sizable correction, but we would be looking for a best case between now and March of about 13,800 with a potential way down over here at 12,500. So uh, the way this would form would be, you know, a little bit of a couple weeks down in here more, an attempted rebound, and then big down again into March. So you see that there's synchronicity in here looking between the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. It points to continued downside movement uh, and uh, any attempted rallies we believe will fail. I want to bring in um, the uh, our proprietary indicators right in here, and this is our market monitor. I showed this before. We're looking at the S&P 500, uh, the, uh, the SPY, the QQQ, the IWM, and the DJI. And uh, this has all of our four proprietary indicators in there. And we've been talking about this being red and talking about the conditions being negative. Uh, the SPY was the last one to turn negative, and now that has. See these orange readings on the uh, slim OBI, that's the option bias indicator. When this turns orange, the odds of uh, it being extreme in one direction or the other are high. That should give you short-term bounce coming up. But we believe that that bounce, which may begin sometime in the middle of next week, early next week, will fail and it will be moving down again. What will happen was these will turn yellow uh, and tell us it's neutralized and then the risks will again be high. If you want to get some idea about uh, how this works, I'm just going to go over here to uh, looking at the NASDAQ 100 uh, and we'll take a look at how those stocks look. Uh, let me find the NASDAQ 100 in here. There it is right there. And I'm going to bring in uh, all of these stocks as this thing begins to load up. And you will see how all of our proprietary indicators work. It takes a little time for that to load up because we put a big demand on the uh, server uh, when that happens. And uh, we can uh, scroll on these right now. Again, we talked about the option bias indicator. We have the reversal scout, the slim ribbon, the market condition indicator, and the OBI, the option bias indicator on here. And I'm going to scroll because I want to show you the stocks that are uh, extreme uh, overbought or oversold right now because we're going to look for those orange ones right there. And you can see in here all of this list of stocks. Starbucks is in there and uh, VeriSign, uh, Microchip, uh, Amazon, uh, uh, Texas Instruments, uh, all of uh, the Synopsys, uh, Cognizant, all, all of these right in here are extreme oversold and likely to bounce. So uh, if you want to look at the, the stocks that are have been remained positive, this is really good. Let's look at the reversal scout and look for the green ones. There are still some stocks in this category that are positive. Of course, when you look at something like Pepsi, that's kind of a flight to safety type stock. Same thing for Mondelez right over here. But look at Baidu. We talked about the ADRs in China doing better. And this one is setting up for upside. So uh, this might be a stock that you look at. 
uh, for the potential uh, of upside bounces. And of course, when you look at the red ones right in here, it gives you the big list of all of the really bad stocks uh, that uh, are have been so weak and continue to be weak. I wanted you to see that uh, uh, great platform that we have there that shows all of our proprietary indicators. And I hope you found that to be extremely interesting when you looked at that. Summing it up, the stock market under severe pressure. Uh, it's got weeks and weeks and weeks of risk out there and big downside risk. But we're setting up for some potential bounces. I wouldn't be surprised to see an update in the S&P 500 next week that holds somewhere 50 to 100 points on the upside, honestly. 100 is a lot, maybe 50 to 70, and actually holds uh, and doesn't get sold. And uh, our market condition indicator will probably turn yellow on some of those, and that will warn us that the downside is likely uh, to resume again.